faith of our fathers, living still, in spite of dungeon fire and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy whene'er we hear that glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Conscience free and truly blessed would be our fate if we, like them, should die for thee. Faith of the martyrs, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, today the church in its prayer remembers St. Lawrence, who lived in the third century, was the archdeacon of, of Rome, martyred just four days after Pope Sixtus II, whose feast we celebrated last week, and cared for really the temporal welfare of the Roman church. In our prayer today, we also remember my mom and my dad. Encouraged by the witness of the martyrs, let's prepare then to celebrate the sacred mysteries and to give praise to Christ the Lamb. Lord Jesus, you are the strength of martyrs, their courage in the face of fear. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the hope of martyrs, their confidence in giving witness to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the reward of martyrs, their promise of life eternal. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on each of us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatter, scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed, Blessed the, man the man who is gracious, gracious and lends to those in need. in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord who greatly delights in his commandments. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed, blessed the man, man who is gracious, gracious and, and lends to those in need. in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved the just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. 
my sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brittany Borman is a Notre Dame grad, and she notes that she grew up learning about the saints who were martyred and literally gave up their lives as a witness to Christ and their faith. And then she learned about religious vocations as a way of giving up this worldly life. But this year, she says, it seems that we've all been called to give up many of the things about this worldly life that we love of which are good, but not as good as God. And so she continues in writing today's reflection, this year has been a huge struggle for me, a struggle with loneliness and navigating both my own fears and anxieties and those of the people I'm close to. In this strange year, we were not able to receive Christ in the Eucharist for months. Yet God is still working all this out for our good, asking us to lay down these good things that we love and to grow in loving and trusting our Creator. She continues by saying that St. Lawrence is a very fitting saint for today. He seems to me, she says, to be an excellent role model for this exact situation in which we find ourselves, because there really is very little humor in the Gospels, at least if we think of funny in contemporary terms. There's no slapstick, and there's no pratfalls, and there's no snappy dialogue with a punchline. And in the early church, there were probably very few comedians, except for Crazy Larry, also known as St. Lawrence. A third century Roman deacon martyred during the persecution under the Emperor Valerian. The first Crazy Larry story that's told was about when he was ordered to produce the treasures of the church, and he rounded up all of the poor and the ill and those that were most in need and brought them to the emperor. For this affront, he was grilled alive And really, the best Crazy Larry story of all was that when he was done on one side, he simply asked to be flipped over. True or not, the stories display the willing spirit of some of the early martyrs to lose their lives for Christ in order to save them for eternal life. If paradox and reversal are the heart of classic comedy, The triumph of right over wrong, humility over pride, love over death, then the first generation of Christian martyrs were all comedians, really, who believed that they would have the last laugh. Jesus' image of that seed that falls to the earth was perhaps one of his last parables the parable that was shared with his disciples as they passed the fields at spring planting time before entering Jerusalem for his final Passover. There could be no harvest without sowing, and Jesus was about to fall to the ground in death so that new life would spring forth and be multiplied. What he was asking his disciples to do, he would do first himself. This spirit of self-sacrificing love is really at the heart of Christian vocation. Few of us, you know, will be martyred for our faith, but each day offers opportunities to come in on empty, to go out of our own advantage to advance another, to listen more than talk, to be generous to a fault. Life becomes calmer and more fun when we don't need to compete when we don't need to win or get even to protect our pride. Comedy probably is just another name for freedom and even compassion once we see how unpredictable and paradoxical life really is. In the end, love is what really matters. Let's strive then to find that joy in love in the midst of our sacrifices this year.
witnessing to Christ in our service to others, let us pray that deacons may faithfully see to the needs of, the, of Christ's poor, we pray. That earthly wealth may become heavenly treasure in service of all in need, we pray. That the hungry may benefit from the generous service of believers, we pray. That Christ's followers may take up the needs of the sick, we pray. That the example of Lawrence may inspire us to courageous witness to the gospel, we pray. For our special intentions, for those who've asked for our prayer today, for our prayer partners, for the intentions on the petition cross, and for those mentioned on the cup of thanksgiving. For the intentions in the community prayer box in the hall and those that we've received either by email or by phone. And for my mom and dad, we pray. That the faithful departed may find fellowship with Lawrence and with all the saints, we pray. God of deacons and martyrs, Holy Lawrence served the poor and hungry and bravely accepted the martyr's crown. Through his intercession, make us faithful servants of all in need, that our good works produce a rich harvest of righteousness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it'll become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, with contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of all my sin. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice at our hands for the the praise praise and the glory of God's name, for our our good good and the good of all His Holy Church. 
Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alan Vigneron, the Archbishop of our diocese, and those who assist him with bishops throughout the world, the clergy, and all who care for your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, Lawrence, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, my peace I leave with you, my peace is my gift to you. Lord, look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Thank you. Let's offer each other some sign of that peace of Christ as you're able. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Draw 
near and take the body of your Lord and drink the holy blood for you, our Lord. Say by his body and his holy blood, with souls refreshed, we give our thanks to God. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you, our poor. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you, our A prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service, which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence, may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Upon the ground and die It remains but a single grain With no life If we have died with him Then we shall live with him If we hold firm we shall wait with him Unless a grain of wheat shall fall Upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no life. If anyone serves me, then they must follow me. Wherever I am, my servants will be. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no life.